Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. This is your friend Max and I am back with another Morissette video, a Broadway medley that she performed with one of my childhood idols, the Philippines concert king Mr. Martin Nivera. They did this performance last year in Las Vegas. But before we start, inviting everyone to follow me on Instagram at Max underscore Q. Likewise, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max2. Time for some quick shout outs. Hello to J. Mark Pagao, Jocelyn Anabiza, and Jojo Santos. Hope you guys are doing great and hope you enjoy this video today. I am very excited to find out what songs will be included in this Broadway medley. Because so far, I have already heard The Phoenix sing All I Ask of You, Sun and Moon, Last Night of the World. So hopefully, the songs here will be different. As usual, for the uninterrupted version of the video without my comments, please head to my description box and click on the link, which will bring you to the original video. For sure, I will be pausing in between to give my honest observations and comments. Okay, so I guess we can now start. I love what the concert king said. I actually grew up listening to a lot of Broadway songs. That's why they have a special place in my heart. Wow. We are off to a very nice start with a song Memory from Cats. And she is giving us the very round vowels, which goes very well with Broadway songs. As always, very clear diction. The D's and T's are perfect. In the lamp light, the withered leaves collect at my feet. Beautiful enunciation. I wonder if Morissette has had theater experience before. If you guys have the answer to that, please comment down below. I can smile. Mr. Martin Nivera has been singing Broadway songs all throughout his career in his concerts, in his shows. So these songs are no longer new to him. Well, at least um, when it comes to this style of singing. But I'm giving him the same critique as before. I wish his vowels were as round as Morissette's. Let's get back to the video. Beautiful blending. Surprisingly, their voices sound good together. 
Because of the heavy and thick quality of Martin's voice, I was expecting it to sound too heavy. But it's not. He's controlling it really well. The streets I'm not too sure what happened there. In Martin's uh, The Street Lamp Dice part, he sounded a bit unsure. Or did his microphone just had a minor glitch? Cutting the street from the lamp dice, it just sounded a tad off. Very minor, very, very minor. I like it when Morissette is hitting her notes straight on without rolling over from one note to another, which is making her delivery very clean, very pristine. Let's go back. Wonderful how they are so in sync with one another. They have great rapport and they are using nonverbal cues which singers give one another on stage. The result is that beautiful delivery of Days in the Sun. Brilliant, both of them. One of the nicest things I noticed about them is that both of them are expressing the song's emotions on the same level of intensity. No one is overperforming nor underperforming. Great teamwork so far. Let's go back. Music of the night from the Phantom of the Opera. It is one of my absolute favorites from the musical. The others being Angel of Music, Phantom of the Opera, All I Ask of You, Think of Me, and Wishing You Were Somehow Here Again. Anyways, Martin is doing an excellent job. So beautiful. The musical arranger, whoever he is, is a genius. The transitions in between the songs are just divine. Very, very seamless. Although, I would have loved it even more if they reached the climax of the music of the night. That was what I was waiting for. But going back to their voices, I think Morissette sounds like a Disney princess here, don't you think? Moving on. Okay, all I ask of you also from the Phantom of the Opera. This song is made for Martin's voice. Although I personally think his voice sounds better as he goes up his upper register. I think he sounds great when he is able to support these low notes.
Hmm. I like the clarity of Morissette's voice, but not so much of Martin's for this part. I think he sounds a wee bit muddy. I'm not sure if it's the way they mixed his microphone, or is it because he's holding the mic too far away from his mouth? So 30% of what I'm hearing is the reverb, not the words. See, in Morissette's verses, I can hear all the words she's singing. Everything sounds crystal clear. Well, a factor may be the difference in their voice frequencies. Because a voice with a higher frequency is more audible than one with a lower frequency. But it is the job of the sound system technician to mix their microphones accordingly to achieve the level of clarity in both their voices. Also, I think uh, this video wasn't recorded directly from the sound system. So imagine their voices getting all mixed up with the ambient noise, background noise, then going into the recording device. So the clarity will definitely be compromised. That is why it is a totally different uh, experience to watch a show, a concert, live, rather than through a video recording like this. Let's go back. Transitioning to another song, This is the Moment from Jekyll and Hyde. And the concert king, so far, is killing it. He sounds so, so good. Very solid delivery. Nice job. And now we have I Dreamed a Dream from Les Miserables. Fun fact, the Concert King actually had a recorded version of this from way, way back. I don't even remember the year anymore, but I used to own uh, a cassette tape of that. You heard it right, cassette tape, not even a CD. Flawless execution from both of them. The transition, the key change, everything is perfect. Love it.
Now they're doing Somewhere from uh, the West Side Story. With all these songs, it's like I died and went to Broadway heaven. Because so far, there is not one, not one song in their selection that I didn't like. Again, so far. These are all songs that I love listening to, songs that I love singing. To tell you honestly, I was quite skeptical of their tandem. I know both of them are more than able to perform individually, but together I had my doubts due to the difference in their vocal qualities. But I'm glad to admit, and I have to admit, I was wrong. They sound awfully good together. This is so satisfying. Despite the difference in their vocal range and vocal qualities, I think the common denominator in their voices is the power. Both of them have strong, powerful voices which complemented each other really well. And that made it work. So what do you guys think of this Broadway medley from Martin Nevera and Morissette Ammon? Do you think they did good? Do you think Morissette can eventually conquer Broadway assuming she wants to? Please comment down below. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. On that note, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxQ. Stay happy and healthy everyone. See you next time.